<laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What fun! Hello, everybody! Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No! We do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, but we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny! Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, Wand. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry... She can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Witch. Goodbye. Bye bye. Quick, run. <laughs> Oh, dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, the nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. No dinners? What? Nanny Plum frozen? Yes! Show me where Mrs Witch lives. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. 
Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. I bother. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. <clears throat> I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. That's what I was saying. We fairies always take an empty basket on picnics. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um... Spaghetti bolognese. Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr Elf? Well, this is... An emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please. Hmm. I do know a spell for... Magic jelly. <gasps> no! Not magic jelly! Right. Too dangerous. Hmm. I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong. Silly Ben. Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! Hooray! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, what shall we do next? Make sandcastles! I love making sandcastles. No, no! You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law! But we're hungry! We need food! Uh, I'll make food! Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream! Yes, that's it! You shall all eat ice cream! Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly! <laughs> cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadu, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it works. Wow! Ice creams for everyone! Ooh, thank, thank you. you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh dear! Ah, <sighs> we'll soon be home! Yes! And it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes. Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, ziggity, ziggity, stop! 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 For you! That's better! Um, ah! Elf 
Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. All right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready! <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum! Hold on! Hold on? Hold on to what? Oh, no! We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh, no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf! Honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fair is honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode. Picnic on the Moon! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump! This is brilliant! <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on Moon. Done that. Two, Plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> it still doesn't work. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Ben? It's a joke telescope. It gives you a black ring around your eye that makes you look really silly. Look! Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> Today is Elf Joke Day. What's Elf Joke Day? It's a special day when all the elves play jokes on each other. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is fun. <laughs> Would you like one of my chewy sweets? Yes, please. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Here, have this flower. No, thanks. I've had enough of your silly jokes. It's OK, Holly. It won't jump out or make your face dirty. Promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
my squirty water flower. It's not funny. <laughs> it is funny. Zip, zap, zop. Upside down, you silly elf. Whoa. Ah, put me down. Lesson time, Holly. Oh, hello, Ben. What are you doing upside down? Help, help. Princess Holly, is this your doing? It was Ben's fault. He was playing jokes on me. Never use magic in anger. It can be very dangerous. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Holly, put Ben down. Sorry, Ben. Phew, that's better. Now, what's all this about jokes, Ben? It's Elf Joke Day. <laughs> oh, I love jokes. I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Oh. Carrots! Now, we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly. You remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes, nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, ho, ho, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <gasps> oh, I say. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. And I'm Princess Holly, but you can call me Holly. That's nice. You can call me Mr Gnome. I need a deck chair and a fishing rod. Why do you need a fishing rod on a golf course? So I can pretend to fish. Pretend? Fish? Moles don't like it when I pretend to fish. Now, quick, before the mole comes back. Abracadabra cheese sandwiches. One bucket of tea. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Mr Nime needs a deck chair and a fishing rod quickly. So he can pretend to fish. Oh dear, I thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills, so um, goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill? is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. <laughs> What's that noise? Wise old elf, what 
are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> Ben found my wand. That's very nice, but you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, Magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh, no. The magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadu. Ah, oh, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. Um, is it for sweeping the floor? Oh, no, no, no. We use the wheat to make the flour. First, we put the wheat in this funnel. The funnel separates out the parts we need. Come and see. This way, everyone. That doesn't look like flour. We haven't finished yet, Princess Holly. Look, the wind turns the sails. The sails turn the cogs. And the cogs turn the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grains of wheat and out comes top quality elf flour. It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now. I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I live in a castle, Lucy. Come and see. Wow, a real fairy castle. Ah! It's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy. 
Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> ah. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look, it says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go, go, go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who were you talking to? I met... <laughs> That's the cockerel crow, Princess Holly. Time for fairies to get up. Uh, is it morning already? Breakfast's ready, Holly. Uh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. Uh, and here's your crown. All done. Uh. Mornings are such hard work. Yeah. Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> two. <gasps> three. It took three puffs. That means... Three o'clock. <laughs> I... Never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. <laughs> Yummy. Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. <laughs> By a ladybird's growl, food... Smelly and foul! Look! Smelly welly! <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food! Uh, why isn't he eating it then? Gaston says it's too cold. Uh, hello, Gaston. Daddy, I think he wants to try your food. Hmm. 
Have a little taste if you like, Gaston. Gaston says it's just right. It's such fun having Gaston visit us. Can he stay with us forever and ever, Daddy? Uh, maybe not forever, but he can stay until his house is mended. Oh, goody! Whoa. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle! Gaston's getting better! Wow. Splendid! And the Pixie Pound has seen a drop wow. to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, this programme is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. Daisy, Poppy, don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Hmm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony, pony. Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. <coughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wriggly, snakey. An alligator. Alligator, alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet, a hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. <laughs> She's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings. <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! wow. There it is. Mm. Uh, it's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh! Thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. 
Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. Mummy, can Ben come on the picnic? But Holly, Ben is an elf. And this is a royal fairy picnic. Please, can Ben come? He's my best friend. Well, I suppose, as he's your best friend. Hooray! I'll ring him. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone. It's Ben. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Oh, ho. This should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. Gaston! Ah! As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, Sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant. Sits at Zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. And if you ever want us to make your case untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Tomato! That looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? 
It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? And um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston? Find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Puppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny Rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop! <laughs> Wow! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat! Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity! They've turned all the elves into rabbits! Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! Meow! <laughs> Daisy and Puppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Yeah. Ah! ah, Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot. Oh no, Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra. Abracadoo, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf. Ben Elf! <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And 
you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked! Come on! <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da Shh! There's Nanny! Ben, be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> I bother. My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Because I am a princess. And I can be the prince. Yes, I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No, magic is much better. Abracazobadu. Oh! I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. Nanny Plum, come quick! I've turned Ben into a frog! Oh, good! You've been practising your magic! No, no! It was an accident! Ben is not happy being a frog! Frogs are never happy! Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. Oh, no. Ben's gone. Now I'll never find Ben and he'll be a frog forever. Hi, Holly. Hello, Violet. What's wrong? I've turned Ben into a frog and he's hopped off somewhere. Hmm. He'll be at the pond. That's where frogs live. Of course. Come on, let's go and find him. <laughs> Holly, look. Yes, that must be Ben. Hello. Look. Mr Elf has bought the musical instruments. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show! What happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. How awful! Good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> You're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Got you! 
<laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. <laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a new game. Yes. Hide and seek. OK. We'll play hide and seek. Yippee! I love hide and seek. <laughs> but no flying. OK, no flying. One, two, three. No looking. OK, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> hmm, Ben's quite well hidden. Not there. Hmm, not there either. Hmm, Ben, give me a clue. Please. You're very cold. <laughs> Getting colder. Oh. Warmer, <laughs> hot, hotter and hotter. <laughs> Found you. Oh, there's no one there. Ice cold. Ah, oh, this is too boring. I have better things to do with my time. Here I am. Stop, Holly! It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh! Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. <laughs> Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No. It's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? 
You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Oh, oh, oh. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. <laughs> Clever Gaston. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh. I don't think the ladybird can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> Please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? It wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No, you've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben, I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, uh, well, the rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me, what was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. Looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. Yay! Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. But we don't know how to find her. And we don't know how to rescue her. And we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. Hooray for Gaston! There's Nanny Plum. Stage one completed. Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell. My smell? For your information.
Sheehan, I do not smell. Nanny, we've got your wand. Polly, you know you're not allowed to touch my wand. It could be very dangerous. But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny?